Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another boot shopping here at Ultra Football. I'm Costa and I'm joined today by Port Melbourne player and former A-League player George Mells. George, welcome to boot shopping. Thank you for having me guys. We're going to go check out the new Nike Phantom boots. Let's go. Now George, we're here at Ultra Football. You've been here before. What are your thoughts on it? It's an amazing store. Like, there's nothing like this around Australia. It's kind of what um, what was needed, and it, yeah, it's a beautiful place. And I personally come here a lot because I've obviously got my academy and everything I need for my academy, from kits to equipment, I get from here. So yeah. it's actually quite handy, to be honest. It's just down the road for me, so it's perfect. Yeah, perfect. Now you mentioned you've got an academy. Uh, did you this start up sort of post your playing career once you've finished from the A League and now moving to the NPL, or what, what are your ideas with this academy? Uh, look, I always had plans at some point to start an academy. Um, I think that transition from A-League to MPL definitely helped it in terms of the time I now have on my hands. Because yeah. obviously when you go from full-time football to you know, sort of part-time football, you get all that at a time. And I just thought, let's do something with that time. And, and that's when I decided to pull the trigger on the, on the academy. And it's, it's been great. It's been a success so far. Definitely. Is coaching at a higher level something that you think you'd look, like to get into? Or? Definitely. I think, you know, I've got a strong love for the game and I think, uh, you know, the people that I've worked with over my career have helped me a lot. Yeah. And I think, you know, the vision for me sort of after football is, you know, like you say, how high can you go with it? Definitely. What, what yeah. level can you get to? So that's the plan for me. Awesome. Now, we mentioned previously you were at Adelaide United, so you had a brief stint in the A-League. What was that? Obviously at a younger age. Mm -hmm. How was that whole A-League? sort of transition like at a youth level and then mm. into the getting a professional contract. Yeah. Run us through a little bit how that sort of worked out for you and anything you look back on now that you might have done differently or any regrets, something like that. Um, no, look, never. I don't think you ever have any regrets on your career. I think you just got to take everything as it comes and enjoy enjoy the highs and learn from the lows. And, you know, I've come into the A-League at, you know, 17, sort of 18 years of age, as you say. So I had success straight away in the league. We obviously won the A-League in my first year, Adelaide. Um, and then um, in the second year, we obviously didn't achieve those heights again and finished lower in the table. So I've experienced the highs and, and the lows of the league. And uh, coming in at a young age was, I think, you know, cr critical for my career. And, and it, it taught me firsthand what uh, senior professional football was like. Definitely. Now, prior to this move, your youth career, you had a brief stint at Chelsea and Southampton. So you went yeah. overseas, obviously as a youngster. How can you compare sort of playing over there in England at a youth level and you compare it now to youth level here, which is something you're seeing more with having your own academy. Yeah. Is it the mindset? Is it the resources? What is it that something that you can compare between the two? I think it's a mixture of everything, you know, like as you mentioned, you know, resources are a huge thing. The financial capacity of these clubs is is massive and, and obviously their selection pool is different as well because yeah. you're not just selecting players from the UK you might be selecting players from all around of Europe into South America, so their scouting networks are bigger. So, um, and just even a simpler fact is that their population's a lot bigger than ours as well. So that selection pool becomes bigger, therefore there's more talent there. And like, it's, yeah, it's obviously night and day when you're at a club at like Chelsea, who sort of renowned as the best academy in yeah. the world. Um, and also Southampton as well, who produce a lot of top footballers into the Premier League and into other leagues around the world. So it, it's hard to compete, it, yeah. I think it's, it's, it, we're not quite at that level yet where we can try and make that comparison. It's not fair. Yeah. So, but hopefully now with a lot of exciting things happening, you know, Women's World Cup, National Second Division, things like this, hopefully that creates a bit more engagement. So George, you're someone that's experienced what it's like overseas and obviously being involved now with the NPL and had experience in the A-League. What is something that we can take here in Australia? We know from all these levels, also having your own academy, mm. something we can take here in Australia to develop that game a little bit more, something that you've noticed. Well, I think, we're taking some good steps now. And I think one of those things is that, well, someone, everything that people be aware of here in Australia is the National Second Division. Definitely, so yeah. I think creating more professional players so they're able to come in and train full time, creating more contracts for players, uh, creating more competition. Because if you have the competition like you have in England where they've got the Premier League, Championship, League One, yeah. League Two, it's more competitive and players, you know, have sort of access to becoming a top flight professional player. So I think we're making the right steps, but in terms of what we need to do at a junior level, I think, again, I've experienced a little bit at MPL level. It's, it's more about finding coaches, coaches who have coached that level before. And if we can somehow have a system where the top flight coaches here can help coach the younger coaches in taking that next step and having a curriculum where the, we can all be on the same page and same wavelength and help our juniors play the same way, 
all the way up through to the senior team, I think having that vision will really help us. Definitely. So you mentioned having that second division. Now we're speaking to a lot more people from these NPL clubs. You're at Paul Melbourne yourself. Yeah. We had Kai on recently the other week yeah. and he was, he was talking up the team a little bit, talking himself up a little bit too. Yeah. How have you guys going this season? You just had a 1-1 draw to Moreland City. What are your yeah. thoughts as a vice captain of the team? Yeah. Um, how your team's going to track? I know there's a youngster, Luca Teva, who's quite good. He's killing it. Yeah. Thoughts on the team? Thoughts on how this season might progress for you guys as well? Well, look, I think if you if you roll back to last season, we obviously finished second place and obviously unlucky in a, in a semi-final against Oakley as well. But the team team is strong. I think for, for this league, and if you look at names on a paper, it's one of the strongest you'll find. Um, I think the, the way that we play football is is uh, what I consider to be the right way to play football. Yeah, That's why yeah. I put my faith in, in the club and in the manager because I love the style of football we play. Um, so I think we'll be competitive again this year. Like you said, we, we got a draw against Moreland um, and we thought we could have got more from the game, but we we're, were unlucky at times and we had to sort of ride our luck a little bit as well, credit to them. Uh, but we, you know, three games in, we haven't lost. We've got an important game against Green Gully this Friday. So hopefully we can start picking up the wins now and, and make a push. Definitely good. So you're vice captain of the team. The first couple of games of the season, you're obviously captain. Yeah. Having that leadership role, was that something that you thought maybe as a youngster was always something that you had within you? And is there anyone that was mentoring you maybe along your way throughout your youth career and your A-League career that has played a bit of a part on you now? Yeah, like it's interesting uh, you touch on that. I've always, I've always felt that I could lead. Um, I'm not really a player who will always like scream and shout, but I, what I try and do is lead by performance and doing what the manager wants me to do. So I think first and foremost, I think you know, the club have recognised that and the managers obviously you know, backed me and obviously that means the world to me to be able to lead my team because it's a, obviously a great honour. And like, in terms of people throughout my career, I think you know, I had some really good captains like Adelaide I had Eugene Galekovic, who's yeah, obviously yeah. a legend you know, in the A-League and we obviously won a title together and he was a fantastic captain and, um, and another player who I thought within the same team who really helped me from a leadership standpoint was SIS. Yeah. And, you know, I look to him as someone who played the same position as me. And even though we we'll sort of had to try and compete for a spot with him, I just found him to be you know, amazing yeah. what he did with the younger players, the way he performed, the way he put his heart and soul into every game. I think those are things I've taken away with me and, and now trying to do it in my own way. So I think those two were two standouts for me. and. And I'm, I'm glad to have uh, played with them because it's helping me now. Definitely. Well, they're definitely legends, I think, of the A-League. And Kalikovic himself, I think, someone that all captains will sort of look at as well for advice as a captain. Absolutely. Now, George, we know why we're here at the end of the day. Okay. The new Nike Phantom boots, they are unbelievable. You're a midfielder yourself. Yep. These Nike boots, pure touch, pure control, and they're very sharp as well. So we're going to head into the brew room. We're going to get you a pair. And yep. then we might even test your touch and the little shooting target too. So let's head over to the brew room. Can't wait. Now, George, in my hand, I've got the new Nike Phantom boots. The fly knit texture to them and the colours as well are unbelievable. Good mix of the grey, but as well a bit of flash as well for those that want a bit of flash. You're a midfielder yourself. How do you think these boots with the good touch and the close control also will benefit you on the field? Well, I love the fly knit because that means the ball's going to stay close to my foot. It's still comfortable on my feet. I love the colourway. I love the mix of the grey and the multi-colours through here. So yeah, I can't wait to really test them out, to be honest. Now yourself personally as a midfielder, what sort of what's the main thing you look for in a pair of boots? Uh, I think maybe a little bit cliche, but always comfort. Yeah. I think you know in the midfield you're doing a lot of K's, you're running around a lot, um, you're on the ball quite a bit as well. So the ball just needs to feel comfortable in your foot and the way you sort of want to caress your first touch and take it the way you want to go. So I think these will do the job. Definitely. Well, look, George, something that we like to do here at Boot Shopping is a little one v one top business challenge. I've gone up against Joe, I've gone up against Kai. I mean, Kai, I had him on the ropes a little bit, but he somehow beat me at the end of the day. I want to challenge you to another 1v1 battle. I accept, let's do it. Let's get into the pitch.
All right, George, we're on the pitch. We've got the boots on. We're going to go a little 1v1 challenge to eat the top bins. Paper, scissors, rock, who goes first? I'm going to go scissors. I don't know. Did you say gotta go scissors? Yeah. <laughs> You've already told me beforehand. Okay, that's the plan. Go. Paper, scissors, rock. All right. Every you made me laugh, bro. Play, paper, scissors, rock. <laughs> yeah, I know, but you said beforehand, I'm gonna go scissors. So you made me laugh. <laughs> Let's go again. One, two, three, shoot. Cute. Done. Right. One, two, three, shoot. One, two, three, shoot. One, two, three, shoot. One, two, three, shoot. Oh, damn it. Alright, you go first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that was good. Thank you. Even Kyo did better first one. Did he? No. Nah. Nah. Keep it safe, though, anyway. It's got to be on target for the keep it safe. <laughs> <laughs> There's the shoes. I'll never get the fancy boots. Oh, I'll get it. Which one do I left or right? Right. Right, damn it. No, you've got to kick it off I the ground. I played two. I played a semi-final last night. My legs are cooked. <laughs> Keeper saves it. You've got to take the safety cap off. You've got to put something into it. I'll get you a coffee if you hit it. Um, oat magic. Oat magic. Yes. What's a magic? Oh, all right. We don't take that one. Thank you. Oh. See how the target moved though? Yeah, it was the wind. Target moved. <laughs> It was, the, it was the wind. You know? The air your are, shots and they the stay still. Mine, it's moved a bit. The air con. Let's go. First shot. <laughs> Take one. First shot. Ooh, that was close. I slowly, slowly, I'm getting there. So before we started fi filming, did you hit it? Yeah, like 10 times. There you go. <laughs> no. Oh, are we playing that one? I you flipped have to it. Clip that. <laughs> we used to, we had the F2 here once and Billy Wingrove famously said we don't take skimmers. Oh, you don't take skimmers? But are we going to take skimmers? I don't, we'll I don't, go, we'll go I, don't I don't feel comfortable with skimmers. There you are. No skimmers. No skimmers. No skimmers. We play on. Sorry, George. How's your hip? Uh, my, my hip? Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, I want to know. Yeah. <laughs> there That's he is. not a skimmer. That was, that was by far the best thing I've done. Clean. Ever clean. Here at Ultra Football. George, that is not a skimmer. That's clean. That I'll give Billy, you that. That was Billy Wingrove type sway. George, back it up. Or else I'm getting up. Oh, magic. What have you said? Oh, magic. They're lovely. Oh, no way. You were waiting for me to hit it first, weren't you? No, of course not. That was good. That was good. Well you were joking about my hips. But my hips not joking. Hips don't lie. Shakira said it, but they, they do lie. Fair um, enough. Fair I'm enough. I've had enough. I'm going to call in a little sub. Your beard's a little bit better than mine, too. <laughs> I'm going to get someone's beard that's even better than yours. <laughs> Kuzi, come on in, son. <laughs> Kuzi is my substitution. Welcome. Kuzi versus George Mills. Let's go. <laughs> Caesar's paint bar. Bro. I'll go first, huh? Which, which target do you want? Uh, any. I'll let you pick. Yeah. Have you warmed up? No warm up. Remember that, no warm up from me. Which target? <laughs> any you like. Just impress me. All right, ready? Knuckleball as well. Oh, no. Top right. Wow, wow. I'm giving him a chance now. Come on. For my young soccer room. Any preference? I'll give you top left. Top left. Is that challenge done? <laughs> I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get one redemption. Yeah, redemption. Go on. Redemption. Now. Don't forget your knuckleballing yet, yeah? What'd you say? I said, don't forget your knuckleball. <laughs> was, that, was that a knuckleball? <laughs> Is that 1-1 one, one in scores? I guess next goal wins, huh? Or oh, next target wins, yeah. Still going the same side? Well, you've hit the left target. Now you got to hit right target. Let it's, me fix yeah, it. Yeah, it's upside down. It's my shot was too hard. <laughs> All those power and those legs. It's the gym rehab. <laughs> So I have to stand here, aim for my head. Yeah? You gotta stay there? Yeah. Oh. Hey! Is my head that big of a target? <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Kuzi, I called you in, you failed. Off you go back to Sydney. George, well done. Ladies and gentlemen, that's been another fantastic boot shopping here at Ultra Football. George, I hope you like the boots, the Nike Phantoms. They look unbelievable on feet. And clearly, as we just saw, they produce top quality results as well. George, thank you very much for joining us. Good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it so much. We'll see you guys soon.